I'm the lead ice climbing guide uh, here at Mikey Guides on the Manuscu Glacier. Um, and we've seen a lot of change on this glacier uh, in the last handful of years, you know. All that flat area is all essentially a lake out there. That's the head waters of the Manuscu River. And that's all melt just coming off the glacier right now. So it's constantly circulating. Um, all the islands of ice that you can see out there, they're all floating. Actually, those are all more or less icebergs. Um, kind of these islands that have broken off and aren't really glacier anymore. It's glacier ice, right? But so yeah, we've seen substantial change. You know, what used to be 50, 60 foot high climbing walls are now small mounds of dirt and rubble just left behind. We see a lot of melt on this glacier, all right? We see more down wasting than recession, which is just melt clean off the top. Um, this glacier is about 27 miles long and about 20 miles of that is hard ice like you're seeing right here. On a really hot summer's day, it's melting a lot. Um, we can lose like seven to 10 centimeters, just clean off the top layer of ice a day, right? And what that translates to is maybe 10, 15 feet uh, a year in, in that summer season, you know? About a hang 10, that's my non-scientific uh, measurement. Yeah, a day. Yeah.
was here 27 years ago. Um, and so comparing where the glacier was, to be, <laughs> done. Get that on <laughs> film. So the hill here, and then um, look across here, obviously there's, there's no glacier. I brought my picture from 27 years ago. Uh, so look. The ice here was probably 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 to 60 feet thick right here. And um, here's a moraine. And uh, that moraine is, of course, pushed up uh, by the glacier or, or deposited. Yeah, so that's a moraine out there. And, um, so that was the edge of the glacier. And I'm guessing it's the same one that was here when I was here. And this is called the outwash plane. And everything melting out of the glacier very Oops. <laughs> Glacier was way out there in 1991. And it has melted all the way back. I'm really surprised how far this walk is. This is just crazy. Oh, the glacier was way down there just 27 years ago. And now it's way back here. Still not there yet. I remember when a, a sign like this was once way down the hill. So what I figure is at this rate, uh, 27 years times 365 days is uh, about 9,000 plus. Um, you know, I'm either quick at math or I calculated it before it was on camera. Uh, that glacier is about well, about 5,000 feet away for, or so. So that makes it uh, about half foot a day of melting that's gone on here. Average of one half foot per day. When I think about the situation here, one word that comes to mind is amazing. How could that much ice disappear so fast? On the other hand, the other word that comes to mind is frightening, about how fast the Earth is changing. Of course, climate change is a natural process. It's happened over and over again on the Earth, but probably not so dramatically. With the combination of natural warming of the Earth and also the human impact of making the process faster.
right. <laughs> you know, I keep thinking it's going to catch on. I've been, we actually had it in Paris here a couple years ago. And <laughs> My wife, oh, you brought your horn. I said, yeah, you know, us Americans, we have a reputation to uphold. She goes, she's a part Eskimo. She goes, what a reputation is that? <laughs> I said, the ugly Americans. <laughs> that was kind of sour, but I, I had a little more melodic. Well, tell me about um, how the weather's changed. Last year in Fairbanks, I mean, year before last, it didn't get below minus 20. And before it would be minus, it was minus 40 in the 70, 71 when I was there, in November. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, it's got the really impacting last. I'm not sure it's a good way. I had the typical misconceptions about Alaska, barren, wasteland, living in igloos, and no way. And you know, I, I think I was pretty knowledgeable in geo, you know, geography. I mm -hmm. take pride in it. Yeah. I knew all the state capitals. No. <laughs> Landed here and it was 20 degrees, fresh snow, the sun was out, and it was just gorgeous. I mean, God. I'm going, whoa, this is awesome, man. Sure. So the next day I went to Fairbanks, and it was dark, minus 40, and November 21st, and I go, you know, I look back on that, I said, did I get that right? And I actually have researched it, and it was minus 40. Wow. And, uh, it had a long stretch of minus 20 with occasional minus 40, and even minus 60 in Fairbanks. No wind, that's not the wind chill. So then uh, I ended up going to Barrow and uh, uh, ended up meeting my wife and building a house there in 75. I hand dug the pilings in my home, and it said you had to get down at least three feet to hit permafrost. And then once you got there, you want to get at least two feet down in, so it'll be permanent. And so I did that. But uh, since then, the permafrost, they've been measuring it. In the last 20 years, it's thawing out an additional inch a year. But yeah, we have seen uh, a swing of almost 20 degrees in the average temperature in Barrow. So I hear that Iditarod here, um they're having trouble because there's not yeah. enough snow on the ground. Yeah, and the iron dog, all the dog races, the snow machine races, uh, and you know the, the snow machine races, uh, it's, they go quite fast. So they need some, they need some cushion, and uh, it's it's hard and uh, it's, it's it, sad because I, I like to cross yeah. country ski. That's my thing. Yeah, that's the thing. In winter, I, I was here uh, mid March yeah. many years ago, mm -hmm. and um, everyone was sad. It was like, is this mud already? We're supposed to have snow and have yeah. fun. Yeah. We don't want the mud now. No. And then it freezes, and then it freezes and it becomes an ice rink, you know. Back in the 80s, I was in Juneau and was up at the Mendenhall Glacier, and that's receded way back. Portage Glacier here, in, uh, when I first went there in the 70s, they built the visitor center to look the glacier over. Guess what? You cannot see oh, the glacier from the visitor center. That's that big lake, center. the big lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that used to be glacier. Yeah, I was here um, 1991, and there was icebergs sure, at the other sure. end floating. That's all gone now, huh? And people say, well, humans, we're too small to have any impact on this world. And I said, yeah, but we do burn 95 million barrels of oil each and every single day. You can't tell me that's not having some effect on this eight or 10 mile atmosphere of ours. I've always been uh, interested in, in the world. Bye.